But today, uh, YouTube mentioned uh, to me an interview between him and uh, Hamza. I don't have time to watch this uh, thing. I mean, so like I activated the, uh, the subtitle to move fast, and I found out that this is the most horrible, stupid meeting ever I can imagine. And this is why you will see Muslims praising the act of Patterson, and every single one of them is saying great things about this meeting. He nailed it. In hijab, he made a video, you should watch it. And here you ask yourself, it looks like those videos are made to promote Islam, and this Patterson is doing a great job. He sounds like an old person who lost his spirit, his battery is out of a charge, and his thought have nothing to do with the speech. And the Muslim, he keep bragging about his religion, how amazing it is, and this Patterson, he don't even ask him a question about if it's true or not. And you know what makes it very deceiving or very, very dangerous? That he have 5 million subscribers and most of them are Christians. So now with this Patterson he did, he presented Islam as a nice, civil, you know, philosophy. It is not what you think. And the Muslim, he keep lying and lying and lying. And so on, he shake his head and he agree with him. And from time to time, like they share hugs and some kind of a flirting together, like, I agree with you, you agree with me, please go ahead. Very civil conversation, but the civil conversation is a false conversation. I will play a little part of it. A little part of it. And I hope Don Patterson will not flag my video for copyright. <laughs> because what I'm saying is not really good for him. Listen to this part in the video. I mean, the, I have a screenshot, as many as you can imagine. All of them are lies after lies after lies. From how in Islam you can repent, and how forgiveness work, and the Prophet said, and the Prophet he did, and the Quran taught us, and nobody might do fact check for anything of that. Patterson is just shaking his head. He agree. So what is the purpose of this interview exactly? Sound like you are a became a TV host, and you are paid for promoting a religion, and you are doing advertising for them, because you said nothing negative about them, and you think nothing positive about your belief. You could not even quote a verse from the Bible. Listen to this, and tell me what you think. For it, regardless of their understanding of it, when, when you are thinking about turning your eyes heavenward or getting your aim straight or obedience to God, what do you think, what does that mean to you conceptually and what does it mean practically in your life? Well, I mean, practically, it means staying within the, what we call the Hadoo. The Quran calls it the limits that God has set on us. So we have certain limits that are set on us and those limits are to protect us. So everything in the Islamic tradition, uh, according to our Al-Ghazali and others, everything in our tradition is to protect one of six things. To protect religion itself. How? How you protect religion? How exactly you protect religion? Do you know how? If you speak against the Prophet, we kill you. If you speak against Islam, you are waging war against Islam. If you leave Islam, we kill you. And this Patterson is sitting like a chicken, shaking his head, and he has no comment. So what about the woman she was just born, burned alive a few days ago in Nigeria? She just insulted the Prophet. Mr. Patterson, he never heard, he never watched news, he never seen anything. He never saw ISIS slaughtering people. And for sure they would say to you, ISIS is not Islam. But what about Muhammad? Is Muhammad is Islam? How Muhammad he protect Islam? Protecting the religion, this guy he said to you in front of your face, protecting the religion, what does that mean? How you can protect religion? Is that by philosophy? Is that by debate? Is that what Muhammad did? He was debating and winning debates? The same person, he had a video about jihad, and he said that the Prophet for 13 years, he was persecuted. And then when he moved to Medina, he started the authority of jihad. And he was conditions for it, because they kicked him out, and because they were unjust to them. Why better sometimes say to him, well, Jesus was crucified. The Christians were given to be as a food for dogs and tigers and lions. And they never did jihad. And if they excuse that somebody was unjust to me, I would take a sword and take his wife. And take his children as a slaves. And how in the world would they believe even that this was true? That they were unjust to him? Muhammad immigrated voluntarily. Otherwise they would kill him. They left with their horses, with their camels, with their servants, with his slaves. They were not running. And then what about the one who opened their houses to Muhammad? The Jews, he killed them all. And what about the Roman? We attacked them when we say, attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. Did the Roman attack Muhammad? Protecting the religion. How we protect the religion? Chapter 2, verse 193. And fight them until there's no more fitna. And the what? What the problem? Is the problem, you know, when the Muslims they say, well, they kick us out and they kick you out. I think the Quran says so. But the reason really is not was none of that. Muhammad is making excuse. Fight them until there's no more fitna. And fitna, what is what? Between two brackets, the Muslim translation of mine, disbelief and worshipping of others alone, Allah. You see, when the lie they say that the Arab they were unjust, aren't they, the Muslim themselves, they say that the Arab they have 365 gods around the Kaaba? So how come those 365 gods were allowed, including Allah? And the Arab did not discriminate anybody. Do you see how the lie works? If the Arab are not turns to Muhammad because of his belief, then how do they have 365 gods? Everybody almost have a god in the town. This is saying that this, this society is very tolerant because a, ter a society will have zero tolerance, will have only one God at least, or maximum. 365 God, the most they say was. And then they lie and they say, well, they were discriminated. It was Muhammad who was saying to them, insulting them, and he wanted them to worship his own God only. It was him who was chasing them, not the opposite. And just to let you know, the Arab they worship Allah too. The one who he fought them, they worship Allah too. And as you see here, Muhammad is making the condition clear. Fight them until there is no religion other than worshiping Allah and the verse in front of you. And if they stop, well, there's no transmission. <laughs> so what is the reason? The reason is to kill them because they are not following my religion. And that's why it says, if they cease, then Allah is all forgiven, merciful. If they cease what? The verse after it says, what? If they cease and they convert to Islam. Protect the religion. The Prophet of Islam said, the one who leave his religion, kill him. 
الذي يبلغ الله نفسه من بدل دينه فاقتلوه البخاري and this is the same guy حمزة who played his video many times and that البخاري is 99.999 صحيح remember this is البخاري and this is as you see صحيح شريشين all the books صحيح the one who changed religion kill him and then in the same video he spoke about some people they think that if they are born of a society and the society have a religion they are stuck with it you yeah if somebody changes religion kill him this guy he lived in California he think California is the same as Mecca and there's no way he did not know because he been in Mecca and he studied Arabic and he learned Islam and he became a sheikh. So he did not know that the one who leaves religion will kill him in Mecca. So are you talking about California Islam or are you talking about Islam? This guy, his mother is a hippie, obviously. She took him from a mosque to a church. To a, she was a Buddhist and then she became a Muslim. I mean, they're a very confused family, obviously. But how that can be a person who presents Islam to us and why this person, Patterson, is inviting Muslim after Muslim? What's wrong with him? And he never cornered one of them about his lies. Protecting the religion. The first thing in Islam, protecting the religion. Is that why Muhammad in the Quran says, fight those who don't believe in Allah? Not fight those who fight you. The Christians, they gave Muhammad refugee. Muhammad is the one who sent a letter to the king of the Roman, saying to him, Aslam, Aslam. Became a Muslim, you will be safe, which means I will kill you. A threat. A very filthy role, a threat. You think, this guy, you think he's God. There's an error in the network. Fight them and tell either they convert to Islam or they teach Islam. And this person, he says to you, loud on air, the first thing Islam is to do is to protect Islam. To protect religion. Now, if you ask this guy uh, Hamza, how protect religion? He would say, protect an ethic. Is ethic. Is it ethical in Islam that if a man he is a Muslim, he kill a Christian? No punishment. He will not be killed for killing a Christian. Is it ethical that if a man he is a Muslim, he insulted a Christian woman? We, we, we do not punish him. But if a Christian man he insulted a Muslim woman, we beat the hell of him. Is it ethical to take their women and their wives and their children as slaves for nothing, no guilt? What this Patterson is doing is extremely dangerous. This man is promoting Islam, and the Muslims are so happy to use him. And you people worship famous names. I mean, how in the world this person, he got five million? He, he sounds like a fool. Is it possible that this person, Patterson, who he claimed to be a philosopher, did not come to his mind to say to him, how in the world do you protect religion? Is it, isn't you just said before, a few minutes before, that freedom of belief, choice, and now you are saying protecting religion? And what kind of a faith, which is a true faith, need protection of a man? If God is with me, who could be against me? If God could not protect his religion, then this religion cannot be from God. So, every word this person he said is a lie, and this Patterson is guilty for allowing the lies to go through. And those poor Christians now they will listen to this madness and they will believe it. Sound great, sound wonderful. Protecting one of six things. Number one, protecting the religion itself. How you can do that? By the sword. Muhammad he told the Muslims, You are the best of mankind. How they are the best of mankind? How we protect the religion? Where we attack the neighbors and we put the chains around their necks. And we make them our slaves. And we rape their women and their kids will be Muslim babies. And the men will be killed. And the little boys will be slaves. And this is how we force them to convert to Islam. And this is how we protect Islam. So number one, we protect Islam. What this guy is doing? And why he's inviting Muslim after Muslim after Muslim? Is the devil using him? And you will see how submissive he is. Or whatever the guy he's saying. And the interview, as this guy is a superstar, and he is the shiny person who did the right thing. You see, when you do an interview with someone, you know, that's meaning that he's something. I mean, the guy he converted to Islam, okay? Well, what is exactly the point of this interview? Because there's no dialogue in the interview. It's just a guy, he has funny a topic he want to talk about, they have points, and, you know, he put the words between, and then the Muslim guy is the one who covered the points, and he, this person who claimed to be Christian, failed to quote one verse from the Bible to show this person that what he's saying is absolutely false. He just agreed in everything. So, protect one of six things. Number one, the religion itself. To protect uh, human intellect. Human intellect and reasoning. Islam, Islam. Order the Muslims to protect the human intellect. And this Patterson, he shakes his head. How in the world that happened? Islam order the Muslims to protect the human intellect? As long as we are talking about intellect and protecting the human intellect, is women in Islam are human? Are they? Oh no, they are not. The mother of this guy, she's a human, she's an alien. Isn't it Muhammad who said that women, most of them, they are going to go to hell? And he told them to give it charities, as if you can bribe God and if you give it charity, now you go to heaven. Which is a proof that he is a fraud. Imagine, I said to you, if you donate to me, you go to heaven. This is what Muhammad is saying. So he came to the women and he said to them, Hey women, seek Allah for forgiveness and give it charity. Okay, what is the heck is that? You know, uh, give it charity, you know. Okay. Why? Because I saw the majority of you are the dwellers of the hellfire. One of the women, she said, Well, why we are the majority of us is the people of hellfire? What happened? And he said to them, Oh, you curse a lot and you are ungrateful. And the funny this guy, Sheikh Hamza, in Hamza in the video, he says that religion is about being grateful. So, protecting the human intellect, and now we are saying that women are angry, and the majority of them will go to hell. 
and how we protect the human intellect by beating the women. Because women are half the brain, as we see in chapter 4, verse number 54. And now what she comes up and say to me, oh no, beat them lightly. What the heck is lightly is? Can I beat you lightly too? Do you accept somebody to beat you lightly? What about spitting at you lightly? I mean, how, how light can be more than spitting? And this guy, Peterson, is sitting like a chicken, shaking his head. Promoting Islam and the Christian, when they hear this, sound good, this is not what we heard, look like this is the truth. And then Muhammad, to prove that women, they have a lack of intellect, they will go to hell, to hell. he said to them, because simply you have a lack of intellect, and lack of intelligence, and deficiency in your religion. You have a lack of common sense. And as you see, this is a Sahih Hadith. All of those are Sahih. So this guy, he was saying a lie after lie after lie, and this Peterson is a promoting Islam with no question. And now, how many thousands and thousands of Christians they will watch this argument or let's say, hey, funny interview. It's like two kids, you know, lying to each other. You know, your mother is beautiful. No, 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 your mother is more beautiful. No, trust me, your mother is really beautiful. Hmm? My daddy used to look at her when she came to visit my mom. This is what they're doing. It's just a silly, stupid argument. There's nothing there. Lie as much as you can. You have a free pass from Patterson. Protect intellect of a human? Was Muhammad protecting the intellect of a human when he was having sex with a six years old girl? Or maybe when he ripped a woman two pieces apart and she is over the age of 86 by tying her legs to two camels and he ordered the camel to walk in a different direction. Protecting the human intellect. And the human rights. When you hear them, you think those people, they are the founders of human rights. In the hadith, actually, and this is a different hadith, Muhammad, he says that the majority of the women, they will be the fuel of hell. The majority of women, they will be the fuel of hell. And what is the solution not to go to hell? Give money to Muhammad. Give donation. Say, listen, you are the fuel of hell. But if you give me money, I can save you from that. You see how this thing can change? Give Muhammad money. And you will not be in the fuel, uh, uh, part of the fuel of hell. So the rapist, the, the liar, the cheater, even his wife, she got him in his house, cheating in her bed with his slave. And she said to him, He baked you, Alice, are you in my house, in my, in my bed, you filthy? Most of them, they are the fuel of hell. And this guy in the video is speaking about protecting a human intellect, human value, reasoning. And what is the reason for them to go to hell? They have their period. Have you ever heard of someone who speaks of such a reasoning that because they have their period, they will go to hell? And because they have a lack of intellect, they will go to hell. Isn't Allah who made them with this way? If this is true, if Allah made somebody a fool, let us say, why Allah will punish you for the way He made you? Who is the one who made women have those lack of intellect, as Muhammad claimed? And what is the solution? Well, give me your rings, give me your jewelries. As you see, when the moment the women they heard this, they said they started talking of their taking their necklace and their ear earring and rings, throwing them into Bilal. And why you have a Bilal? Who is Bilal? Protecting the human right, and you have a Bilal. Bilal is a slave. Bilal is a slave. He walked with Muhammad wherever you go. They throw it into Bilal garment, giving them in charity, and the Muhammad taking home. You see now how you go to heaven? So a second ago, they were the fuel of hell. After they give their rings and their earrings, they are good people now. Nothing changed on them. They just give the rings. I don't know. Some people thought this to me. He's a Christian. Is he a Christian or he's not? Is he a Christian or he's not? I don't know. Some people, they told me, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know the person. I don't care actually who's he. But I stand against promoting lies. It doesn't matter who is the one who is behind it. So, number two, protect, number one, protect religion. Number two, protecting a human intellect. What about protecting a human? Do you want me to read for you the pact of Omar? And this guy is the one who speaks always about how amazing Omar is. Omar al who treated the Christians like dogs. He's not Christian? Will that make me feel better? That's, it. That's even good. I was upset more because I thought he's a Christian, but thank God he's not. All right, thank God. But uh, the, why people, they, I mean, what's, what is up with this guy? I mean, he's slow. He don't know what he's saying. He's suffering from flight of thoughts. And he, have, he, don't, he, don't, you know, I mean, he don't have a discussion, a discussion. A person with a PhD, they do fact check when somebody says something. Oh, so in Islam you protect the human intellect. That's wonderful. How do you explain that? Like what? What about those who you made them in the pact of Omar and you spoke about him greatly? How he treated them. A Christian, he had to ride his, do his, his donkey and his head facing the ass of the donkey. A Christian, he had to shave the top of his head. A Christian, he cannot ring the bell. A Christian, he cannot fix the church. A Christian should open his door, his house, his bed. Three days for any Muslim, he liked to go inside his house and sleep. Imagine. Imagine living in a town. Any Muslim can come to your house, knock at your door, and you have to take him in three days, three nights, and you don't even ask him why. He eat, he drink, he sleep in your house, in your bed. And you sleep outside. Protecting the human intellect and the human reasoning. And the lie continue. And continue. Reason, so like a prohibition of alcohol is to... Ah, protecting the humanity by forbidden of alcohol. Ah. You see, alcohol is the problem. It's not promising people a lot of virgins if you kill some people. Well, which one is more dangerous will make the human being lose his mind? Promising someone a lot of virgins and 80,000 boys if you go and kill somebody? Or alcohol? At least alcohol, even if you get a drunk, you wake up. You see how Islam protects intellect? And as long as you are talking about the freedom, how you force people not to drink something? Who are you? Oh, I know, I know, God. But you are the one who said Islam is unique because Islam gives you freedom of choices. But you are controlling people even what they eat, what they drink. Oh, well, in Judaism, they do the same. That's mean Islam is not unique. That's mean you are copying from the Jews. You just explain that this is only in Islam. That's why you became a Muslim.
protect uh, human reason, uh, to protect life. Sorry, life is to protect life. Muhammad is the one who ordered people to protect life. I mean, how that? How wonderful is that? So when Muhammad he sent the letter to the Roman king saying to him, convert or else he was protecting life. And when Muhammad he said to his followers, attack the Romans so we can get the blonde girls, he was protecting life. And when Muhammad he slaughtered anyone who agree with him, he was protecting life. And when Muhammad he says, if I became victorious, I'm going to expel every single non-Muslim, which means anyone don't follow me, he was protecting life. And how he expelled them? I will tell you. He told them, there's open immigration now to Canada. Make application and we will pay for your ticket. Muhammad he was protecting life. And this Patterson, for his atheist then, he was just shaking his head. And the Muslim they love it. This is the person who brings us, give us a great opportunity to be introduced to the West. He has five million subscribers. He's a fool. He's a passive person. He never really discuss, check facts. But we can lie as much as we want. Omar really narrated, I heard the Messenger of Allah saying, I will certainly expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. So I leave only Muslims. See how protect life. And how Muhammad he practiced that? He killed them. Zero Christians, zero Jews in Saudi Arabia. Until now there's zero Saudi citizens in Christian in Saudi Arabia. Have you ever heard of a religion protect life? And there's nobody have life and live in a country except Muslims? I mean, do you see how much of life? To the point, if you are atheist, we kill you. If you are Christian, we kill you. If you are Jew, we kill you. We live only Muslims in the country. Because we protect life. So those people, they make me really upset because they promote lies. And look at us. You know, the one who said the truth, he have 449 viewers. Did you, did you see what happened? Happen? The one who is an, an idiot, he have millions of viewers. And the Muslim, they will sponsor his video too. And the one who said the truth, he hardly will make it a 2,000 viewer. I was complaining about how David Wood, he do his uh, funny debates. Trying to read it, it is way better. Protecting life, protecting human intellect, protecting Islam, protect nothing. Islam, take your life. Islam is evil. Islam requires your life to protect Muhammad. Not the opposite. Jesus died in the cross to protect us. He did not ask you to die to protect him. Protect the life. Muhammad even he burned trees. Muhammad even he dig the graves of his enemies. You know the Muslim said to you, do you know that the Prophet he ordered us not to cut a tree? The Prophet, brother, the Prophet, he was a uh, go green, you know? Go green. And he'll go green for sure. Let's find you some about go green. Do you see how he go green? Okay, you kill the people. Why are you burning the trees? And there's a verse in the Quran, by the way, about it. Chapter 59, verse number 5. Even trees, they, didn't, they were not safe from the ugliness of Muhammad. Whether ye cut down, O you Muslims, the tender palm trees, or ye left standing on their roots, it was by the leave of Allah. So Muhammad, they will make them feel better. And this is what? To bring shame to those who didn't believe in Allah? What are they trying to have to do with it? You can never done that. Why are you bringing the trees? Why are you taking the trees? Actually, it's a stupid behavior to cut the trees. Because now you have the land. You can sit under the tree. You can eat from the tree. Why are you taking the trees? Imagine I moved to a house used to be owned by a Muslim. And then because I don't like Islam, I got his dreams. But that's, that's stupid. So in those videos, they try to promote Islam to look like a nice religion, protecting intellect, protecting the human rights, protecting women, uh, protecting mind uh, thinking, freedom of uh, speech. All of this is Islam. So where we can find that? In which Islamic country? Was it exist in the time of Muhammad? It's the next to protect life, to protect human reason, to protect property. Uh, to protect property. <laughs> they took the whole country and they're talking about protecting property. But he will not tell you that the one who's protected is a Muslim. Or oh, it's a to the mafia, to the gang. So my friends, I just wanted to make this video to warn you about those who can deceive him to you. Go speak to this guy and tell him you are what you are doing. Christian friends, he said to you, you are being so stupid and you are being used, literally. You are being used to promote lies for the most hateful, violent cult exists ever for mankind history. You've been used and abused. They are using you to fool many. And that's why they are praising your act. You see, the second you see Muslims are talking about how great is, the, is this interview, it's means this interview was 100% for the benefit of Islam.